Good morning, YouTube. So I put together this uh, fuel transferring station, whatever you want to call it. It's just a fuel pump. I use it for diesel. I also use it for gasoline. Uh, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I've got a old Ford NAA tractor. It runs on gasoline. I've also got a modern John Deere tractor that runs on diesel. So I was wanting a fuel transferring system that would work with both. Gasoline will destroy rubber hoses that aren't rated for gasoline. They will destroy fuel pumps that aren't rated for gasoline. You don't mix the two. Diesel is a bit more forgiving with some stuff. Not like gasoline. Gasoline, great solvent if you need to clean stuff. Anyway, I digress. I threw this together kind of quickly. As you can see, it's just an old scrap 2x4, bailing wire. The fuel pump is rated for gasoline or diesel. It's literally rated for a car or pickup truck. It's, it's like half a gallon a minute. It's slow as, pretty slow. But for me, that wasn't the point. I was throw, throwing this thing together for as cheap as I get away with. Uh, I didn't know how much I was even going to use it, actually. Um, literally old scrap wire. Solder on some clips. Works great. I connect it to the tractor that I'm refilling. Connected its battery. And it's running. Got my intake hose. Now what I've done on my intake is I put that little pipe clamp on it and that helps keep it from trying to slide out of the tank. Got my intake hose and I've left enough room on the intake hose that if I want I can drop that into a 5 gallon can, leave it in this 15 gallon can, whatever. Uh, I always recommend fuel filter um, in fact if I have a if I set this up a little better with a bigger pump I'd be putting a an oil water separator with a filter alongside it always put a filter though you never know what sediment you're gonna catch they're cheap enough you know that thing was like I don't know less than a buck uh, tractors got one for like three four bucks on it I've, I've even got a video where I replaced them both on, on both tractors. Ended up having to replace the entire fuel line on that Jubilee. Always recommend it though. And always put it before your pump. So that way sediment doesn't mess up your pump. I mean, rather it's a $10 pump or a $100 pump. I um, ratcheted. I just used some old ratchet. Old and nappy looking. Figured, uh... It could be spared for the project. But, you know, didn't know how much I was going to use it. Didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on it. Uh, now I, I like it. It's a lot easier than picking up five-gallon tanks and dumping them in. Some of it splashing out. You know, I just set the five-gallon tank right beside the tractor. Turn this thing on. Let it drain the five-gallon tank out. Anyway, uh, I was actually inspired by another YouTuber, and I'll, I'll try to put a link on his video in the description, because I, I just didn't think much of it, and he built something similar to this. I like his setup. He's got a higher output pump, got a nice little nozzle that you can control it. Real nice little setup. Highly recommend if you have to deal with tractors or heavy machinery or anything like that, especially something like his. Um, this system might might get upgraded to something similar to his. It's just the pumps I found like his when I built this were all rated for diesel, not gasoline. And 
I didn't know if something like this was worth spending a hundred bucks on. Whereas 10, 20 bucks, not that bad for, for just experimenting with an idea. Anyway, I hope it helps somebody. Y'all have a good one.